Hi there everyone, it's Sarah here and welcome to another video on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts and as part of their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. Now, I've created another project which I've totally fallen in love with um, and it's quite eco-friendly as well. Um, I made a nature mini. Um, it's made entirely out of corrugated cardboard or leftover um, packaging that my craft supplies were delivered to the house in, and uh, and this is the this is the mini here that I've made. Um, it's got quite a bit of depth, and I just love how it turned out. So I'll take you through how I've made it and what have you. So I started off with. Um, a big sheet of corrugated card and what I did was I used a Sizzix die called album cover to cut out the pages for the mini and what it does is it punches two holes and it gives you a, a crease down your, your card. Now what I did was I cut out a few pages and I took white acrylic paint and went round the edge of all every page and then I cut the paper just quarter of an inch short of the sides and I covered it in patterned paper, nature patterned paper. Um, so each page just flows through. To the end and then what I'm going to use this for is recording things that I take pictures of when I'm out walking my dogs. Um, for instance, this is the first one that I've put in and I've got a few more that I want to put in. This is Purple Toad Flax and it, it's got its Latin name as well. And it's good just as a reference for me because I've got a memory like a sieve to remember what I'm putting actually, you know, what the things are when I go out and I spy them when I'm out walking. So I've got plenty of space to put things in and it's going to be flowers, trees, insects, mushrooms, fungus, uh, slugs, snails, you name it. It's going to be in here because uh, I find all that stuff kind of interesting. So anyway, back on to the mini. Um, this is the purpose of it. So what I did was to hide the two brads going through to the other side, I covered it in patterned paper and then I put some raffia down on top of it. Now Wild Orchid Crafts are supplying various different colours in this raffia and it's lovely. And the two colours, I used two different colours on this, a greeny kind of one and a, and a creamy one. And the cream one is product number AF four zeros and four. And the greeny one is AF four zeros and a nine. And these are the two colours here. I've still got loads left. So that's the two colours that I used. Um, and I also used the Baker's Twine to bind the mini. And that's in a brownie, a brownie colour. That's really nice. And I put a couple of eyelets in the back and we've got a brad going through here and as part of the, the closure I just stuck some raffia on there. Now onto the front page. The closure just pops in like that and it closes across here. It's not going to be a bulky mini so it's not going to get much bigger than what's already here. Um, now I covered the front page in raffia the same two colours uh, that I've just given you the codes for. And then I took some chipboard again um, there and some patterned paper and adhered the patterned paper to the chipboard and then I had sticky backed alphas and I put those just onto the patterned paper and then I covered the whole lot in crackle accents. And I waited last night on that drying. When I come back up to the workshop this morning, it was it was done, so I could finish the mini off. Now, onto the 
the actual floral arrangement here. Um, I've got some material ivy leaves that my friend Deb sent across to me in a bunch of picks and um, so I took them all off and stuck them on all individually and it also had these little rosehip berries here and here so I stuck three of them on and then it had these little green berries as well so I put some of these on there's one there and there's another one down here and there's another one another little drop up here just to fill in the space now I also used the Tim Holtz tattered florals dye and I cut out the small flowers here and the large flowers here and what I did was this is just um, if you can see the back it's just chipboard um, cardboard that I used and cut them out of the cardboard and then I covered them in embossing powder and when they were still hot I stamped into them with ink and various different stamps to get um, these uh, nice patterns on top of the embossing powder um, so this embossing powder is is a yellow it's a cosmic shimmer one and this is an Adirondack one and this one here is just um, it was a new one that I got the other day but it's mirror gold uh, I can I'll post links of everything, all the products that I've used down on, uh, down below and links to Wild Orchid Crafts for the various products and a full supplies list of everything that I've used in this will be across on my blog so I used um, one of the carnations and just popped that on top here it goes quite well and it ties in with the mini um, so that's one of the carnations and I'll get the code for that as well it is FS00275 and that's the mini um, I like how it turned out it's using up and recycling cardboard that would normally went to the the recycling centre um, and I just I love the whole nature theme of it and I love how these turned out and so there you go I'll put the measurements across on my blog as well if you want to try and make one uh, just a really nice little project made out of recycled materials and a good use for the raffia um, it's really nice I like how that turned out and the flower fits in well as well so there you go that's my little project and uh, I hope to see you all soon with another video and another project so bye for now